Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop all the main systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So, before we get into some NBA action for Monday, December 12th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So, there's a pretty good slate of games for Monday. We're going to take a look at some of these. So let's get started here. We have Miami Heat and the Indiana Pacers. This is one of the good matchups for the day. Miami comes in average stats. You see they're coming off of a win, and they are 3-3 three three over their last six. Well, Indiana is ice cold down there, coming off of a loss, and then they are 2-4 and four over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see the streak here. Um, Miami is over in three and under in three in their last six. Same with Indiana. In that case, it's a good indication to avoid the over-under bet. If you look at the score prediction, Indiana is uh, picked here 118 to 111 with about 37% level of confidence. This changes quite a bit, so take a look at this as it gets closer and closer to game time. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see here Indiana was at plus 27, or plus 25, excuse me, um, not that long ago, just about two weeks ago, and you can see the upward and downward trend, and they are now down to plus 9, while Miami is also at plus 9 at the moment. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent have they been performing? With regard to their favorite underdog status, you can see that Miami is a little bit more stable in that regard at plus 7 compared to plus 5. And both have been on upward and downward trend. Um, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that Indiana won the first meeting between the two teams this year by two points at home back on November the 4th. In the end, I believe that this is a Pacers win at home. It's going to be another tight game. I like the Pacers by about five points or less, but I would avoid the over-under. Okay, the next game we want to look at is Cleveland and San Antonio. Cleveland comes in average up. They are coming off of a win, and they are 4-2 over the last six. While you see San Antonio is dead up, they have won their last game, but they're just 1-5 over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see Cleveland has been involved against under the line all of the last six. San Antonio in four out of the last six. Good indication of a lower scoring game coming up. The score predictor has San Antonio surprising me by 11 point margin, 115 to 104, with about 69% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that Cleveland is uh, near the top of the league at plus 25. Oh, San Antonio is down here at the bottom at zero. If you look at the volatility oscillator, how consistent have the two teams been? Both teams very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. You can see an upward climb, very little downward movement, pretty much of an upward trend for both teams. Head-to-head uh, -head wise, the two teams did not play yet this year. Cleveland won both games last year, one by five and one by 13 at home. I think that trend will continue. Go for Cleveland to win and a low scoring game under the line. Uh, next one we're going to look at, Minnesota and Portland. Neither team playing their best ball. You can see Minnesota is ice cold up. They are 2-1 and one over the last three, but just 2-4 and four over the last six. While Portland is ice cold down, and they are 2-4 and four also over their last six games. The score predictor has this one very tight, 121-119 to 119 in favor of Portland, but only 25% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the over-under, you can see that both teams have been involved in games over the line four out of their last six games. And the power rankings indicator shows Portland on a steep upward climb over the last, almost the last week from plus four up to plus 21, while Minnesota has been up and down there at plus nine at the moment. Let's look at the head-to-head -head matchups. Have they played yet this year? They have not, but if you look at last year, you can see them. It was all Minnesota winning all four games. And, uh, the last two in blowout fashion, particularly the last one by 43 points back on March the 7th. The stability factor, Portland has been very unstable at minus one. And really, they've been right around the same minus one. It's been the highest they've been since uh, really the beginning of the year. So they've been very unstable all year long. Um, Minnesota has been a little bit better at plus four. In the end, I like Minnesota and they rode upset. Uh, perhaps into overtime, and I like this one to be a high-scoring game, so go over the line. 
The last one we want to look at is Boston and Los Angeles Clippers. Boston comes in with the best record in the Eastern Conference, burning hot at the moment, 5-1 and one over their last six. While Los Angeles is ice cold down, they have lost four out of their last five, and they are two and four over their last six games. Um, score prediction, Boston 111, Clippers 11, excuse me, Boston 117, the Clippers 111 with about 71% level of confidence. This is a pretty good high level of confidence. Check back as it gets closer to game time. Power ranks indicator, Boston at plus 29, and they've been steady at the top there since, you know, we're, we're like at three weeks now, three and a half weeks, they've been at plus 29. Well, you see the Clippers have an up and down roller coaster ride, and they are now at plus 19. Head to head wise, you can see that Boston uh, lost both meetings against the Clippers last year, one by nine and one by three. If you look at the stability factor, both teams have been very consistent with regard to the favorite underdog status 12 for Boston and 10 for the Clippers. In the end, I like this one to be Boston on the road and looking at about 5 to 10 point margin of victory in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are all the games for the NBA that we will look at for December the 12th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.